What is going on YouTube? Brave Dave here and I am going to bring to you today my very first Let's Play campaign and it is going to be a Total War Attila campaign so let's go ahead and jump in uh, so I actually decided to go with uh, one of the Norsemen factions and it is actually going to be the Geats because I played as the Geats before and it's actually a uh, really fun faction to play as so we have Dag our leader here so I'll actually scroll through here so you could read it real quick if you haven't had a chance to uh, buy the game alright so let's take a look at some of uh, what our faction has so our religion is Germanic paganism uh, so that means that a lot of factions aren't going to like us. Uh, our cultural trait as a Viking is we get plus 75% income from sacking, looting, and raiding. And faction trait specific to just the Geats is cold blood. Uh, because we live so far north, we get plus 10 morale when fighting during the winter. And we are immune to snow attrition. So that is actually a very good trait. That means we can fight in the winter uh, more compared to other factions. We will be playing on the hard difficulty. And let's see, the initial challenge is normal. So let's go ahead and jump in. So this is my first Let's Play campaign, but I will probably be starting another one in a couple days when the Longbeards uh, culture pack comes out as one of those factions because they look really interesting so I'd love to do that the air was filled with smoke and blood Rome was weak the tribes grew in strength and number their roots went deep, and they felt the Earth's blood pounding through the land. But their borders were threatened, for a great storm raged in the east. One by one, the tribes scattered as seeds in the wind. Behold a red horse, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. The blood of their kin would be avenged. Great hunters, they tempered their blades in Roman blood and saw their once mighty walls reduced to dust. They made ready for war. The world is changing. A lasting cold creeps from the north, and you must seek opportunities south of your homelands if you are to survive and prosper. Take to the seas and explore nearby shores, for the local tribes will be no match for your warriors. The plunder they bring home will line the coffers for the trials ahead. The exploration and conquest of distant lands of corrupt empires grown weak through years of infighting and of petty tribes without the strength or will to fight. By sea or by land, the south is yours for the taking. Triumph and they will sing songs of your deeds until the end of days. Alrighty, so we have our first mission here and that is to survive till spring 400, which shouldn't really be an issue. Um, I actually have a really good starting position. I'm over here by myself on an island, and I'm pretty sure I'm surrounded by 
people who enjoy my company they like me I believe let's actually go ahead and get our military training my military research started there take a look at diplomacy all right so I kind of want the Jutes Danes all of these to really like me because my plan is to come over here to England and call conquer all of the British Isles at which point we will figure out our next mission what I think it might be is to conquer all of Spain because I don't want this to go on forever and conquer the whole world because that's a lot of conquering so for now I think I'm gonna stick to the British Isles and then maybe Spain and that'll be the campaign so let's look here the angles like me Caledonians who are these guys okay so I don't care about them I'm conquering Danes uh, there our relationships improving so let's go ahead and see if we can get a non-aggression pact which they gave us and let us try a trade agreement awesome so the Danes are gonna be my friends let's see the Franks they're on my way to Britain to your offers, but do not wrap them in lies the spirits know truth all right, so they're on my way to Britain, so I don't want to uh, get in any conflicts. So let's try to, uh, yeah, there we go. We have a non-aggression pact. Let's see if we get a trade agreement. No, but maybe in the future, because I believe, yeah, our attitude is improving. So hopefully we'll get a trade agreement with them pretty soon. You honor us. There is food enough. Okay, the Jutes non-aggression pact, trade agreement rejected well, that's another one I believe we're gonna be improving on so hopefully soon the picks uh, I don't mind because in the British Isles I'm gonna conquer them the Rugians have a non-aggression and a trade agreement so that's awesome Saxons they're on the way as well friend we will speak together of what okay so non-aggression pack there Varenians absolutely hate me, but that's okay. The Danes are between us and them, so we'll see about that. And the Western Roman Empire hates me, so I doubt they're going to give me a trade agreement. All right, so that's that for now. Let's come over here. All right, so you, my friend, can start looking for a wife as well as you. Do, do, do. all right so there we go we have those guys figured out let's see if we can make any of them champions all right so let's get our heir as a champion my heir's brother you and you my friend All right, so we all have those. Let's see, I need a governor. We will stick you as a governor. All right, so that's done. I have my training. Let's actually bring my fleet in so I can get a few more units in there. Uh, let's see, a couple ballista. Let's actually take that out for now. We will combine the these armies. Whoops. Let's actually just go ahead and stick them all in one, which gives us 19 units. And all right, there we go. We will hire an onager in case we come into any walled cities. So. We have a full stack that we are going to uh, start moving to Great Britain. So I'm actually going to uh, conquer quite a bit really quickly before anybody gets their feet on the ground because we definitely uh, need to get that land. And let's actually get some pastures here so we can start building our second. Let's actually stop that for now. 
Okay, I'll take the granary because I need food and I need sanitation. So that's probably a good one because, yeah. So far we have negative two sanitation. So I do not want pestilence in my province. Yes. Alright, so I believe that will end the first turn there. Oh, I can still order an edict. Uh, well, actually, we'll go with growth. All right, so that is now the end of the first turn. Yes. <clears throat> See there how uh, the Goths and the Saxons are moving about kind of where I need to be? Uh, so that's why I went with the non-aggression pact. Alrighty. So I will actually take the influence from our faction leader because he's 62. At this point, he probably won't live for very much longer. So I need my faction heir to uh, have more influence. Alright, so Hedrick was able to find a bride pretty quickly. Let's see, she's a 16 year old girl who has plus one personal influence and plus one cunning. Uh, so we will allow him to take her hand. Alrighty, so that's all taken care of and let us start moving our fleet to England. So yeah, so I'm going to avoid all of this area right here because I don't want to take sea attrition. And we have our fleet now, which will come over here to support our transports. And now we have enough money to do our pastures, which just takes one public order. But gives us Nordic mounted raiders as well as quite a few other good things there. So we will do that. And we'll actually give our faction leader a few units just to help protect the province. Uh, for now, we'll go with a couple skirmishers. Alright, and then that's going to end our next turn there. So it looks like the Saxons and the Jutes kind of have the same idea to uh, make their way to England to hopefully uh, give a push to the Western Roman Empire and conquer some land. How the Roxolanis are still around during this time. All right, so let's move our uh, units closer to England, where we will begin attacking in a turn or two. All right, so one more turn, and we will improve our sanitation to where we are not going to be uh, susceptible to disease. Okay, pastures in two, so we'll get more food. Uh, we could choose a new technology. I think I'm going to go with the wood carver because I believe that is what gets us um, archers. So we'll go ahead and research that. Not much going on around here. Let's see what we can do diplomacy wise. Greetings, friend. We will speak to. Okay, we can't get a trade agreement with them. Let's see with the Jutes. Welcome, worthy friend. 
All right, so we have a trade agreement with the Jutes. All right, and then let's see. Hopefully, next turn or two, we can get one with the Franks there to really help improve our income. And it's cool stats over here. We're actually the fourth ranking uh, faction in the game. I'm probably assuming it's because we had a lot of uh, early on uh, units, so that gave us a lot of power. And the Western Roman Empire is actually ranked one right now. Oof, and they have 68 regions, wow. Uh, but if anyone's ever seen a gameplay with them, you'll know real quick that it's too many regions. They can't hold all of them, so that'll quickly drop probably to about 30 regions or so. All right, so we'll go ahead and end this turn. Uh, sorry, there's going to be a, a lot of turn ending early on, but that's just because uh, starting with one province, it's kind of hard to get things going. Once I start conquering, it's going to be a lot more action going on, so just bear with me for now. All right, so one of our units got sea attrition. We have a le illegitimate birth, so apparently this may be awkward. All right, so let's definitely get our units out of there. I think we're actually gonna come over here and try to capture Yada yada yada. We're declaring war on Western Rome. And we will do a blockade on Camulodunum. Cool. Alright, so now let's go ahead and uh, move our infantry up. And I believe in the next turn or two we will start taking Camulodunum. Dunham, and from there, take over the rest of the British Isles. But we may have to wait an extra turn to uh, ensure that these guys do not have seasickness any longer. Alright, not really much I can do here. Maybe recruit a few more units. A couple units of spears there. And then I believe that'll be the end of the turn again, unless we can get the Franks to trade with us. Sit, friend, and let us talk. All right, will this take money? Are you greedy? We will find out, my friends. $500? Took $500, you greedy, greedy Franks. All right, anything I can do with my faction? Ooh, so that's an illegitimate child right there, my friends. All right, so this shows their in integrity. This shows their influence. So this guy right here is going to be an issue later on, I believe, because he has really low influence. Same thing with this one. So hopefully I do not have to uh, do anything about that later. Oh, shoot. I didn't know that. Okay, so the yellow line. So this gentleman right here is adopted, and this is a bastard child. The poor thing, you are a bastard. All right, moving along. That will end that turn. I still have to. Ooh, I do what do recall we got? with the overlong talk. The Franks. Preferring the Axis edge as an argument. So listen and then agree. We will actually counter you and demand payment.
It is time to talk no, like I will men not take three hundred dollars. That's my daughter, my friend. The time it takes to speak a word or two. I want. Oh, seriously, I'm going to decline you because my daughter is worth more than three hundred dollars. That is actually kind of an insult. Seriously, who would sell their children for three hundred dollars? I demand at least a thousand in there. Because she's actually a good daughter, it looks like. She would make a worthy bride to anybody. Alright, so the Ver Verenians, who I believe hate me, is destroyed. So that is no sweat off my back. Who actually got them? The Burgundians. So the Burgundians are actually going to be one of the uh, Longbeards factions coming out in the new uh, expansion. The new culture pack. So that's a possibility for my next campaign. So keep an eye out for that one. Okay, we will throw a couple mounted raiders in there because why not? And I'll just leave that army at 11 for now. And then when I start contemplating moving more troops around, that'll be the next army. Alright, let's get our men landed. And hopefully, next turn, I believe, I will have enough movement points and they will not be seasick. And we will take that town there. Alright, everything's good there. I don't really have enough money to upgrade anything, so we'll end another turn. All right, so governor. All right, so we'll actually get him some minus construction costs to save us some money. All right, so now that's the end of the turn. Again, sorry for uh, going through turns here real quick. Uh, not much is going to be going on, uh, but I believe the next turn will be our first battle. You are honorable, worthy, and strong, and only fools would not wish to be friends with you. All right, so the Jutes want a military alliance, and they're giving me $400. I believe that is a good plan because they will protect my southern border in case anybody wants to come up. A lot of familiar uh, factions still in the game from Rome 2. I guess it wasn't that long after. Alright, so my Imperium went up. I get more armies, fleets, governors, still the same amount of spies, priests, and champions, but it's became increasingly difficult to get these, so that's okay. Alright, we shall allow the action to begin. Besieging settlement. Alright, so I'll actually go ahead and fight this just to uh, make sure there's a battle in this video. So, I believe this should be a crushing victory because they really do not have enough units to face my entire stack. So this should be a quick battle. I love the name of the, the Sea Snakes. It's very fitting for a uh, Viking fleet.
I would rather be first in a little village in Gaul than second in Rome. Julius Caesar. Is that... Yeah, that had to have been before he got stabbed in the back. I'm just saying. Alright, so let's get started. Let's wait. There we go. We need a clear day. Alright, so let us come through here. It's a watchtower. Uh, we'll actually come through here. We have a straighter shot to the capture point there. So let's start with our line of spears. Flanked by our swords. Have our archers coming in from... So many archers coming in from that side. Let us have our onagers there. And I believe the reinforcing troops will come from this side. Alright. Let's get started and see what's going on. Oh shoot, we have a boat coming in right away. Good news! Additional forces have arrived! Let's see if they land. Let's move our line up. Loaded. The enemy tremble before our superior numbers. We're being ambushed. All right, so they're gonna yellow charge my archers, which is actually a really good idea. Uh, the only issue is there's so many archers and so many javelins coming from my Nordic band that they are going to rout really quickly. Alright, let's get in here and take out these units before they depart the ship. Alright, so we basically destroyed that cab, but now before taking huge losses on this one Nordic bow, unfortunately. Alright, so they're basically going to dominate this marine unit. Just by sheer numbers. Ooh. That is not good. I didn't realize they were so powerful. So actually, let's come up and try to get a rear charge going. broken and I'm fleeing! And let's face it, my Nordic Band is a crap unit. 5 melee attack, 11 melee damage, that is absolutely terrible. If they weren't the stock unit that came at the start of uh, the match, uh, the campaign, then I would not have them. Try to get some rear charges in here. Alright, so we just overpowered them there. Let's come over here and get some rear charges. Alright, so we routed that light marine there. Now before taking a ton of damage on one of our units there. And we gotta get this done quickly before the tower there destroys some of my units. And yes, we are men of the north, my friend. Men of the north. 
So that's their general right there. Let's see if we can find him. Have some really awesome beards and mustaches. And hairdos. Like this guy. Well, this guy right here. Awesome hairdo, my friend. And that should probably be the end of it. They're going to both route, and that will end the first battle of our Viking bands. Our Geats, the awesomeness of the Geats. And our first foothold into Great Britain, which will soon be all of ours. Let's actually turn off our bows. So they don't hit any of our units. Legio, we need to route. There we go. Now that should finally be the end. That's one thing about Rome units. Even their early units can really tank it out. The Legio, quite a bit of good health compared to my units. And defense is pretty good also. Alright, there we go. The end of our first battle. A decisive victory at that. So, we still lost a good 565 men, unfortunately. But we still have 3,000. That's enough to hold down our first settlement in England. I don't know there's towns in England, so if anyone knows, let me know what town that is modern day. I know it's not London. I'm pretty sure Lon London, um, yeah, that is modern day London. There you go. Jab in the throat with an axe, which was kind of weird, but let's go. And let us occupy. Is there nothing else? It's actually... Eh, that's good enough. Let's get our ships to start exploring and meeting new factions so we could have trade partners and make a ton of money. To actually repair that for now. Repair. Uh, we'll convert that later on. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is London. And I don't know England, so I couldn't tell you what any of these other settlements are. So it's time to start doing some studying. Uh, we will actually go ahead and start coming over here for go pens and all of that. And let me check the time here. Um, so that'll actually be the end of the first episode here. Uh, thank you for watching. I will try to post an episode of this campaign every day. So keep an eye out for that. And I will catch you all next time.